Hello everyone, welcome to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So, the other week, I received, yes, that's July 13. So, I recorded this at July 27 now. So, last, last week, last week, okay, never mind. So, I received this email from YouTube.com uh, and it says that, uh, the subject is action required to keep your YouTube channel tied to your school account. So it says here that Dear is small terrible. We're contacting you because you've uploaded videos to YouTube with a Google Workspace for Education account. This account is the email address given to you by your school. In this type of account, your school administrator manages your access to Google products like YouTube. So starting September 1, if your school admin marks you under 18 years old, you will no longer see your YouTube channel tied to your school account and will also no longer be able to upload new videos to the channel. You will see a new limited version of YouTube designed for schools that is automatically applied to students under 18. This only impacts your YouTube experience on your school account and does not change what you're able to see and do in YouTube while logged in on your personal account. So it continues that this change will impact you as someone who has uploaded videos in a school account and we encourage you to take action if you want to continue to access your videos. Here's what you can do to save your videos or keep your channel. So, first option, if you are over the age of 18, reach out to your school admin by September 1st and ask them to mark your account as over 18. After your admin has updated your settings, you can continue creating videos on your YouTube channel on your school account. So, I tried to reach out to our school admin and yeah no not school admin but school ICT first and he tell he told me that the school admin is very busy and has a lot of things to do and and might find it hard to entertain my my request so I after I heard his comment I do I continue to this if you're under 18 though I'm not 18 years old I'm already 30 plus years old so I I just consider this option so if you are interested in moving the videos in your YouTube channel associated with your school account to personal account fill out this form you must log in to your school account to access the form note that some things can't be moved such as comments made by your channel messages verification badges and custom URLs so I just I just consider this first option I did not consider this use Google takeout to download save your videos and other data like comments and search stories that you've created on YouTube so I do not consider this second option I just consider this and it continues like we understand this update impact you and your channel associated with your school account and hope you use one of the options above to keep creating on YouTube. Thanks the YouTube team. So this is it. I just click hit it in here, this form. Yes, and it and it redirect me to another site here. Channel transfer for Edo account. So I just I just consider this option again even though if I am not I am not under 18 years old so what I did is I just I just fill this out the legal name and this YouTube channel ID so there's um, there there's a guide how to identify your YouTube channel ID just click here and it says here that you're going to sign in on your YouTube then in the top right click your profile Picture. then yeah settings then from the left menu select advanced settings and you'll see your channels user and channel ID so you select the channel IDs and after that you may just uh, go back where's the back button okay so let's just go back yeah continue if you have already your channel ID you're going to this time, yeah, just here's the picture of how to identify your 
channel ID. By the way, the channel ID should start with UC. And of course, it's 24 characters including the dash, okay, or the hyphen. And yes, uh, email address associated to the channel to be transferred. So basically, this is your Google Workspace for Education email address. For example, in my case, it's that at deped.gov.ph. So I, I put the email address here. Then I just tick or I just check this. I certify, I certify, I certify. And this is my personal email address where I desire to transfer my channel. No? So at first... At first, actually, I find this, I am fearful of this um, action because I, yeah, I'm scared that the, the ads attached to my videos will, will, mean, will not also be there when, whenever it be transferred to another account. But I'll tell you in the later part what happened, okay? So, here is it. So this is your personal email address, your email address which is not anymore a uh, Google Workspace for Education in which it is not um, managed by any school administrators except you. So also click this I certify, I certify and yes you have to uh, screenshot and make sure this is another thing to consider. The email or the personal email address where you want to transfer your channel should or should have no channel yet. Okay, it should have no channel yet. Okay, it says here it, there should be the create a channel here. And another thing, this channel or this email, your desired destination. The email or your personal email address should be associated to the channel or to the original channel. The channel which is the Google Workspace for Education email address. So you should make it a, what's this? Make it a manager, okay? Make it a manager. I'll show you later. So let's just continue. So take a screenshot. So just click print screen from your keyboard and then paste it to uh, paste it to paint. And after that, save as then just save in your desktop. Then after which just click choose file. Then it will pop out to the desktop where you want to where you saved your the screenshot of your of the new account where you want to transfer your channel and you just you just write or type your full legal name here to acknowledge and click submit so i did this two days ago but i'll tell you what happened i received a right i received this so thanks for reaching out and understand that you're requesting a channel transfer i'm happy to help here we were not able to process your request as the email address that you are using to contact us is not the email address associated with the channel to be transferred you will check this link for instructions and how to or how to know what email address is currently connected to the channel so basically dapat yung email address yung personal email address na gusto yung lipatan is nakalink na dapat siya sa original channel so ang gawin nyo lang is okay punta lang kayo sa dito go to the youtube studio or studio.youtube.com then on the left hand side click settings then click permissions then after that permissions you just click invite and enter the email address of the person you have to invite so you just enter the the email address or the new email address na transfera ninyo na nalipatan ninyo ng inyong channel then click access and select manager i select the manager ano yeah manager kasi owner yung original channel no manager that means para na rin siyang um owner. So, manager na siya. Pagkatapos niyan, after I, I I permitted the new or my personal Gmail account as the manager, 
I go back to this Okay, I go back to the original message and again um, do the process again. I did the process again. Okay, I did the process. And yes, I made it already correct. And thankfully, three hours ago, I received this message. Thanks for reaching out. Hope you're doing great. Understand that you've contacted us regarding the email that you received. Good news! We have successfully processed your request and have transferred your YouTube channel that was associated with your Google Workspace for Education account. You can now access your channel and its content using the target destination account you shared in your form submission. And I checked whether there is still an advertisement or ads attached to the videos let's see and i tried searching a small terrible again and i tried opening the one of the videos and let's see if there's there are now still ads. wow so there is still ads or there are still ads attached to that channel so even though it's um account or the email address of the channel is already changed so at first i am really fearful of this step or this action but now i realize that if i have not tried taking the risk i want i want have peace of mind of having this personal gmail account not using our google workspace for education account so i hope you'll do the same if you have uh, questions you may you may comment down below so that i can assist you thank you so much for watching this video till next time bye bye